Hey guys, it's Mr. Calderon with Queen My Pawn, and I'm going to be showing you how to complete the square today. So I'm going to go ahead and share my screen and draw on my tablet and show you how exactly to do this. Now, why would we want to complete the square? This is important to know in case you're in a testing environment and they give you a problem. You must ask yourself, will completing the square help me solve this? Completing the square turns a polynomial function into something that looks like you can graph like we saw in the previous video identifying and graphing parabolas so it takes a polynomial function ax squared plus bx plus c where a b and c are any number and it turns it into something like x um, plus or minus h squared plus or minus k. So put plus or minus there on the bottom. So remember we went over this last time and that's what you wanna have it in if you wanna graph a parabola. This is still a parabola, but it's not in a graphable version. So here's what you gotta do. Suppose that we have the parabola x squared plus 4x, um, let me think of a number here. Let's go with minus nine, okay? Now, you would have to find two numbers, a times c equals negative nine. And so scratch what I just said. Let's do this first. A times C is negative nine because A is one and C is negative nine. B is four. Now you have to find two numbers that add up to negative to sorry, they add up to four and they multiply to negative nine. So for example, three times three, three times negative three, that will multiply to negative nine, but it won't add up to four, right? That will not add up to four. In fact, you can't find any number that does. So this is when you complete the square. And here's how you do it. You have to take B right here. That's four divided by two and then square what you get. So here's how it generally looks. Whatever B is divided by two and then square it. So you're gonna get four again. Now, here's why I did that. Remember, this is the original um, parabola. So let's bring that down here. And we get x squared plus 4x. And now look what I'm going to do. I'm going to add the 4 that I got here. But now I'm going to subtract the 4 again. And then I'm going to re-add the minus nine that was at the end. Now look at the green. I added four and took away four. So I'm not changing the value of the actual expression, okay? Nothing is happening. It's like, this doesn't even exist. But I added it because now look at this. The one uh, polynomial inside the parentheses, now we should find two numbers that multiply to a times c, which is one times four, which is four, and they also add up to b, which is also four. Of course, you could have come up with two numbers, which you should pause the video and try to find two numbers. They multiply to four, a times c, and they add up to four, which is b. You should have come up with, you can pause the video now, you should have come up with two and two. So look at the top right corner because it's getting messy. Top right corner, you have x plus two times x plus two minus four minus nine, which will give you, hopefully you did that as well. Um, try to do this before I continue in your head. And see what you get. You can unpause the video now. You should have gotten negative 13. 
And look, these are the same. So in the end, you're gonna get x plus two squared minus 13. And this is easily graphable. Remember the three steps we took in the last video. First, is it a happy face or set? Well, actually that was the last step. First step is, do we go left or right? Obviously we go to the left because it's the opposite sign of this that you should be concerned about. That's minus, minus is to the left. So we'll put a tick right there. And then you gotta go up or down. This is negative, so we go down by 13. So that'll be another one. So this is where the vertex starts. Then we have to go happy face or sad face. Well, this is positive right here. So that's gonna be something like this. And if you put that in decimals, you're gonna get something like that. Decimals are wolfram alpha. Let me walk you through one more example because I made it really messy here. Suppose that I have, let's see, what's a good one? X squared uh, minus six X plus A. Graph this function. So whenever you're graphing the function, you should find two numbers that when you multiply them, you get A times C. A times C here is A because this is an invisible one and this is an A. One times eight is eight and they add up to B, which is negative six. Try to find two numbers yourself and see what you get. They multiply to eight and they add up to negative six. You shouldn't pause the video now and you should have figured out that the numbers are negative four and negative two. They multiply to eight and add up to negative six. However, these numbers are not the same. So you're gonna get something like this, x minus four times x minus two. This isn't in a favorable form. Remember, we want something like x plus three squared. This number could be anything, but we want this square right here. And I don't see a single square over here. Okay, so we have to complete the square. That's how you know. You have to complete the square when you don't get two of the same. If it had been negative four and negative four, then I get x times x minus four and x minus four. And when I multiply them, I get x minus four squared. And I don't have to complete the square there because it's already, it already is squared. And graphing this is simple. It's just something like this. Anyways, so let me redo all this. So we got the original one. X squared minus 6X plus A. A, C was A. B was negative 6. Remember, in order to complete the square, you have to do one, step one, b over two squared. In that case, that was negative six over two squared, which is negative three in parentheses squared, which is just nine. Good. Two, write that out. So we got the original one, which is x squared minus six x. And now after the b x, which is, you know, this is AX squared and that's BX. After the BX, you have to write whatever you got for the, for this, you have to write it now, plus nine and minus nine. And then don't forget to add the very end of the original polynomial. And then you get plus eight. Now look, put this in parentheses. And that'll give you the third step. Can you find two numbers that multiply to nine and add up to negative six? Again, pause the video and try to find it out for yourself. You shouldn't pause the video now 
and you should have found out that the numbers were negative three and negative three. And because they're the same, you can simply write x minus three squared minus nine plus eight, which will give you negative one. Now you can graph this. First step, look at the inside of the parentheses. Is it positive or negative? The, the number, the number is negative. So we go to the right. Remember, it's the opposite sign. So I'll put a tick there for x equals three. Then we look at the outside. There's a negative one to the right. So that means we go up or down. We go down because it's negative. So that tick right there. And so the parabola starts right here. That big dot I just made. Now the third step, is it a happy face or sad face? Well, this, this right here, there's, a, there's no negative. So it's gotta be a happy face because it's a positive parabola. And that's it. That's how you complete the square to graph parabolas. You turn them into an identifiable form, such as x plus some number, or x minus some number squared, plus or minus something else. And then you figure out if it's a happy face or sad face. For example, this would be a, a sad face. x plus 3 squared plus 6. Because look, right here, you have a negative on the left. OK. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to click the like by clicking the thumbs up if you did like it and it helped you out. And make sure to subscribe for more content like this. And I'll see you in the next one.